This is a series of exercises having to do with Resource Manager. Um, in this first exercise, we're going to just simply create a consumer group. Um, currently, I'm in database control. We could be in grid control. Uh, I'm at the home page of the database called Alice. And so we want to create a consumer group. So we go to server, consumer groups. I'm going to create one called Alice. I'm sorry, App Server. Davis is called that at Alice. We're going to create a consumer group called App User. Let's show the SQL while we're here. This is what it's going to look like. Turn, say OK. And now we have created a consumer group called App User. So in this second exercise, what we want to do now is take the app user consumer group and the low group consumer group and, asso and associate them with the default plan. Finally, we're going to change the resource allocation of that plan. So let's do this. Go to plans. Let's take the default plan. We click edit. Then we click modify this point we pick the app user and we pick HR. No, I'm sorry, the low group. We pick the low group. And we hit OK. Here we also are going to change this um, to the following. Notice now we have app user and low group here, but we're going to change this around just a tiny bit. And here's what we're going to change to 16 to 40. 16 and 40. So now let's do show SQL. Take a look at it. and we'll sit apply and we are done in this third exercise what we're going to do is associate the HR Oracle user with the app user consumer group and the Scott Oracle database user with the low group finally we're going to take a quick look at the um, mapping priorities um, with the different types of users. So the first thing we want to do is take HR and associate him with the app user consumer groups. The way that's done is we go to consumer group mappings, um, raising the Oracle user, add a rule for this particular Oracle user. So it's HR, sorry, HR and he is associated with the app user consumer group and we'll go ahead and apply him and now it's been applied successfully another oracle user group that we or another oracle user that we want to associate with the group is the scott user so let's go ahead and add a new rule and we want to associate him with the low group and it's scott see right there have to hit apply for this to work so now it's been applied last thing we would typically look at is this priorities to make sure that the Oracle user is has a higher priority than the client or OS user um, but there is a bug with clicking on this so instead what I'm going to do is look at, um, query the database directly and I'm going to run this query Select from resource mapping and you can see that the Oracle user has a priority of 7 and the client OS user has a priority of 9 so this is in fact higher than the client OS user which is important for another next exercise for this fourth exercise what we're going to do is assign the client OS user to the sys group so in the previous exercise, we associated um, Oracle users 
to a particular consumer group at this type at this time we're going to associate it the client OS user uh, so let's go ahead and do that it's very similar so in this case we want the client OS user add a rule and we want to have this rule and we want to have this guy associated with the sys group. We said OK and apply and we, we, were, we were successful and that's it for this particular exercise. So in this fifth exercise we are going to look at the PM user. We're actually going to give him three the choice of three different uh, um, consumer groups and he's, he is able to switch between the three or among the three. The three consumer groups are going to be the app user, the low group, and the sys group. So the PM user is allowed to switch. So how that is done is we go to server. Instead of going to resource manager, we're going to go to users. And then we're going to take the PM user and we're going to edit him and go to his consumer group privileges. He doesn't have any yet, but he's going to have three. He's going to have the app user, he's going to have the low group, and he's going to have the sys group. We hit OK. Let's show the SQL just for fun. We return and we must hit apply. And so now the PM user has been modified successfully, so he is able to now switch among these consumer groups. So in this sixth ep episode or sixth exercise, what we want to do is activate a plan. In this particular case, we want to activate the default plan. So let's go ahead and do that. It's pretty easy. You can go to server, resource manager, plans. Pick the plan we want to activate. It says activate here already, so we're going to say go. It says, do you want to activate? Yes. And it's been activated successfully. For fun, let's go. Oh, and now we can see right here it this says it's active. So now we are done. In the seventh and last exercise, all we're going to do now is log in to different users and see what their resource consumer group is at the time of login. So I'm going to, try, I'm going to actually log in in two different windows. The first one I'm going to log in is system. system. Let's go ahead and set the SQL prompts. Run a query at query SQL. In fact, let me uh, show what the query is. So we're looking at schema name, resource consumer group, fee dollar session for for all the users that I'm logging in as. So the system user, that namely this user, is logged in as the sys group. So now let's log in as something else over here. Let's log in as um, Scott. Let's set the SQL prompt here also. Set SQL prompt second, second. So let's rerun this query. You can see now we know that the Scott is Scott is associated with the low group. Let's try a different user. Let's run it again. And the PM is in is in the sys group. And finally let's log in as a different user entirely. Let's run this query one last time. And we can see OE is now in other groups. And that's all there is to this particular exercise.